Hello everyone. In today's video we will build a tab product grid. The product tab is a very common element in web stores, designed to display products based on different listing types in a space-saving way. In this particular example, we will place the monthly promotions. The second tab will be used for new arrivals. In the third tab are the products you sell most often. And finally, we'll also do a frequently repurchased tab. This could be, for example, foil for a phone or propeller for a drone. Okay, let's go to the dashboard. I'm going to add this tab section to my previously created Electro homepage, but it can be placed anywhere on the web shop. I think it will be a good place here under the categories. Now add a new section. Set top padding on it to separate it from the part above it. In the layout tab, turn on the tab section. It's a special feature that allows you to turn a section into a tab structure that can be expanded with drag and drop without short codes. I align it to the center and set the style of the pointer. You can't set the width of the content freely. It is advisable to align it with the rest of the page. Click on column to name the tab. Now add a new tab and repeat the process. You can add as many tabs as you like, but for clarity it is recommended to use only a few. The same will be true for products. Go to the Style tab for formatting. Adjust the fonts and colors used on the page to give it a consistent look. Change the spacing around titles to your liking. Okay, now let's go back to monthly deals and create the first product grid. You will find this widget in the premium category. Set the skin to custom to make additional settings available. Choose prices drop option. In this example I call it monthly deals, but you can create a weekly or seasonal deals depending on how often you update your promotions. And change the product limit. With the image size setting, you can choose which size you would like to display for the products. You can't customize these image dimensions on the back office. You can decide which information and buttons to display on your product miniatures. If you want to hide something simply switch it off. And for badges, you can click on the little X to remove what you don't need. You can't give each badge a unique name. You can also choose an icon for the quick view button. I'm going to choose the little arrow pointing to the right, which is what I have on my other buttons. Go to the style tab to format your monthly deals. You can use hover animation to enhance the user experience. When choosing colors and fonts, make sure you choose one that is used in the rest of the page. Once we have finished setting the prices, we can move on to quick view. I'll use a little trick to make the quick view button lift up using the border parameter. which I will then set to transparent. There you go. Now let's format the badges. Product badges highlight promotions, improve CDR, and have many other sales boosting benefits, so they're worth using and styling.
I use different colors for different badges. Once you have your product grid ready, simply copy and paste it into the next tab. Select new products from the drop-down list, and you'll see your products replaced with new arrivals. Otherwise, you can't set in the back office how long a product should count as new. In the same way you can't create the best sellers tab. I do not use badges here. If you want to list products individually, select Featured Products, and a category where collect them. In this example, frequently repurchased products will be displayed here, but only your imagination limits what you will show here. Okay, now let's look forward to the tablet view. Let's reduce the number of columns to two. Use copy plus paste style to create the same layout on the other tabs as quickly as possible. Great! Switch to mobile view. Turn on overflow scrolling. This makes it easy to drag tabs with one finger on the phone. And on the desktop, press shift while scrolling to switch between tabs. Apply the two column layout here too. Nice! Copy it to the other product grids. Now save and preview changes. Press F12 for mobile view. Looks fine and mobile too. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial video, and it was able to help you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, we'll be happy to answer. Have a nice day.